My name is Rupert Gatti. I'm the founder and the chief executive of Cool Kit Limited. Last year, we've produced about 1,250 of our vehicle insulating products kits for temperature controlled vehicles. These days, we're based here in Burnley. We occupy a total area of some four acres of industrial premises. In the years leading up to 2005, I'd worked for a company who was doing a similar uh, thing to Coolkit, but it got itself into financial difficulty and eventually the owners uh, called in the administrators. This left me unemployed and with the opportunity uh, to pick up the remnants of that business. So in conjunction with the help of a bank and remortgaging my house, we just about raised enough to be able to get a new venture off the ground, which differed in a number of ways from the business that had failed and which I was in control of for the first time. And by substantially reducing our, our overheads in terms of premises and executives and an unproductive workforce, we changed a number of things that have led to a clearly a sustainable and invariably a, a profitable outcome. We have a workforce these days of about 105 people. And of course, we're in a fairly built up area and there are plenty of other employees, so our offer needs to be a good one. So we've adopted a four day working week as the standard, Monday to Thursday. We find that that's an attractive proposition. And of course, it's good for the firm if we need overtime, that that can be worked more often than not on a Friday. We've increased our holidays, so four days above the statutory minimum. And we've done a great deal to create a welfare package for employees, in particular reflects on healthcare, I've got my family in the workplace, my family at home. Uh, I'm immensely proud of them all. And, you know, I always try and take steps that hope to make uh, all of their lives more fulfilling too. And listen to what they've said about what they like and what they don't like and try to act upon it. Join a peer group is what I'd recommend to everybody. And to benefit from the huge breadth of the, the value of that group, for me personally, I wouldn't have got half as far as I have without the benefit of a peer group that I first joined in 2008 at a program being run by the Lancaster University. These people have become my best friends as well as my best business advisors, and we all trust each other implicitly. And I'd urge everybody thinking of starting up a, a business of their own to get as much advice as they can, whilst also trusting their gut and going with their intuition.